hello and welcome to this video. I am wanting to speak to you today about my personal experience of breastfeeding. Um, i just like to put this out there straight away that this is not pro-breastfeeding or anti-breastfeeding or anti-formula, pro-formula. This is just simply my experience. What anybody else does is totally up to them and it you know breastfeeding works for some people doesn't work for others some you've kind of got to go through um the sort of barriers if you want to but it's either personal choice or you know there's other reasons why people don't breastfeed anywho should we just crack on because if you're watching this i'd like to think that you're open-minded and you want to listen to my experience of breastfeeding hopefully Anyway, here we go. So, my baby Alana is now five and a half months old. Originally, before I even had her, I was like, I'm breastfeeding till she's six months old, definitely. However, it isn't as easy as people make out. They're like, oh, it's the most natural thing in the world. You know, it's so easy. It's simple. As it turns out, I actually am still breastfeeding at the minute. Um, not necessarily out of choice. We'll go into that later. So as soon as I'd had Alana, they put her on my stomach uh, to get st skin to skin, see if she could work her way up to the nipple. Oh yeah, <laughs> by the way, this is gonna be quite an honest, well, very honest, and possibly quite in-depth conversation. If you're not comfortable with me talking about breasts and boobs and nipples and latching, then it's time to go. If you hear that squeaking in the background, that's the guinea pigs. Um, the noise I just made then is generally the noise that we make for food. So now they think it's food time, they've already been fed today. Anywho, so yeah, as I was saying, if you're not comfortable with that, you know, go and watch some of my other videos. Some of them are probably a bit too at TMI as well, but um, you know, anywho, off we go. Yeah, um, myself and Alana had trouble learning about latching. Now the staff in the hospital were amazing. Uh, they were really helpful and she did manage to get some colostrum and stuff um, whilst we were in the hospital but I did end up having to um, use the little syringes they give you and hand express into those syringes. <coughs> I've got a tickly throat right now. Not great. Um, so yeah it wasn't easy. That was quite painful. Obviously, I've got to learn how how to do it, but so has the brand new newborn baby who's got a lot of learning to do. It's a brand new thing for them to do, um, and they don't have a clue about anything really at that stage. So it's hard. Some babies get it straight away, some babies never get it, and that's fine. Um, one of my friends, one of my NCT antenatal friends, um, had said someone had said to her, because obviously over here in England it's breast is best, da 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 da, and kind of sometimes people get a sort of a bad rap for formula feeding, but over in Australia I think it was, they say fed is best, and that is so true. If your baby is not latching and not learning how to latch, or they can't, or they've got a tongue tie or something which is causing them not to be able to, or your milk doesn't come in, or whatever reason, then they're not going to be fed. Or they're not going to get enough so of course they need formula or whatever else um, you can do if you can express that's great and try and do it that way but if it, like I say if your milk's not coming then you're starving your baby if you're not giving them formula really aren't you so I just I hate it when people kind of judge other you know other people especially mums judging other mums what's that about oh, ridiculous anyway fed is best that's a fun thing to learn from today guys yes so Alana had trouble latching um, so when we came home from the hospital it was day three because I had a retained placenta and all that so I ended up having to stay in for a bit longer so on day three we came home and the health visitor came around well I think we came home on day two like in the evening health visitor came around on day three in the morning and um, she was kind of we were talking about breastfeeding and whatnot. And I had bought a pump. I'd been given a hand pump. 
Health foods came get. around. So that obviously I was having trouble with breastfeeding. But at that stage, at day three, my milk had actually come in. So I could no longer use the syringes. Firstly, because obviously there was a lot more than the colostrum. There's not very much colostrum. But to start with, their stomachs are so tiny that um, there's enough. And it's obviously fatty and rich in nutrients and things. Um, so my milk had come in. So I bought this um, in a, a pack, sort of like a starter breastfeeding or bottle pack sort of thing anyway so this um, hand pump this is a Philips event one this is the natural um, these are the natural bottles that come with teats like this and they're all numbered um, this is a, a four I don't know if you can see there's a little number four on there probably not yeah um, and this is a big one they come in smaller sizes to start with this is a big bottle so this pump just works, you just put your boob on. It does come with a silicone sort of cover. Um, however, the uh, midwife who came round, midwife, health visitor, it was a midwife, yes, um, came round and she took that silicone thing off and said, usually you get a better suction just with the plastic. Um, I mean, your nipple kind of gets <laughs> drawn in a lot more but it's worked for me. When I had the silicone covering on it, it um, I couldn't get like the the vacuum sort of thing that you need. The air was like, it wasn't kind of creating a proper seal. So it wasn't working properly. So yeah, so you end up pumping like this all the time. Click, click, click. Um, and it takes a long time. But the first, the first time, I mean, I got 30 mils from each side, um, I think which would I just get 30 mils I don't know but I got a lot like she was really impressed considering that was the first she day that we were coming and um, really happy and Alana took to the bottle straight away she was brilliant um, later on I did learn to latch um, Alana and Alana learned to latch and so she was quite happy going between bottle and breast there was no nipple confusion she understood what to do um, for either or because I then ended up creating so much milk it was unbelievable um, because not only once this kind of you end up getting hand cramp after a while doing this all the time the amount that I was making because my boobs were getting so like engorged and painful and it was awful um, so I ended up having to pump loads and my health visitor came round and was like, why, why are you pumping so much? Why are you producing so much? What, you know, because I was making more than Alana was drinking, but I had to pump because I was in so much pain. Um, which created a big problem. Um, I ended up getting blocked milk ducts. I ended up um, getting mastitis a couple of times, which is whew, very, very painful. Um, so once I'd moved on from the hand pump I got on eBay um, the breast pump now I already had all the stuff so I wanted to get the same make so I got the Philips event electric breast pump which is just this um, and it came it came with another one of these so then we ended up having two of the tops because they're exactly the same it's just this attachment is different but there actually came two of these in this pack so that was really handy. So then we've got two of exactly the same tops, just this bit comes off. Um, and other than that, it's the same. So yeah, that was really good. Um, and it was a lot cheaper buying it on eBay. Obviously, you know, clean it all and stuff. But, um, but yeah. So we had this. So this just clip, like goes onto there like that. And yeah, pop it on and then you press the buttons. I won't plug it in because it's quite loud and the plug's over on the other side of the room and it's not really necessary. So yeah, so I ended up making so much milk um, and three months in, I was in so, I was in agony, but I was like, it was nearly Christmas. I was like, I'll wait until after Christmas because I don't want to faff about with trying to get her off um, the 
the breast and stuff over Christmas. I just, or like stopping pumping over Christmas because it just would be too much pain. Anyway, so come January, I was like, right, I'm gonna sort it out. So it took me about three weeks to actually stop expressing. Um, I just had to kind of basically wean myself off the pump um, and just try and, if I were to express, just express to take the edge off, as they say, um, so that it wasn't as painful. And eventually my milk supply did start to um, decline, which is fantastic. But because I was doing that, I was not giving Alana the bottle. So for three weeks, she only had breast. And now she will not go back onto the bottle. I've tried many different ones. So I've got this one, which is the Philips Event Natural Teat bottle, which she always used to take. For three months she took it, no problem. Now she will not take it. Um, I then purchased these MAM bottles, which has got a slightly different shaped teat. It's kind of a bit flat on the side. And people rave about these. Nope. Um, my, what did I buy this one? Someone lent me one. No, this, right. I bought this Mimbi one. Again, people raved about it. It's kind of a, a nip, more nipply sort of shape, I guess, once it gets pulled into their mouth, sort of, you know. Um, nope, won't take it. And a friend lent me this Nook one. Again, another different sort of shape teat. And no, she will not take it. Disaster. Um, put all those bottles away, or well, at least down here for now. Um, so the health visitor suggested we try her on sippy cups because maybe she'll be ready for sippy cups instead because it's something different and it's not trying to be a nipple, it's just a totally different sort of format. So we got this, this is a nubby. I don't know if you can see the little make. No, it's not helping. But yeah, anyway, another one. So she kind of chews on here. And it's like got a little valve so the milk comes out. She is happy to put this in her mouth. She is happy to chew on it. When the milk comes out, she gets angry and cries. Even when she's hungry. Doesn't work. Tried her on Tommy Tippy Sippy Cup, this little one. Um... Now yesterday we actually had the best um, attempt with this, so she's learnt to suck it because it works differently. It's, this is quite solid and she's teething sort of at the minute, she's starting to get teeth in. And there's a little valve inside here, so she's actually got to suck on this to get the milk out. So she was learning to do that, which was great, but as soon as the milk was in her mouth, she just spat it out. <laughs> I was like... That's really annoying. Um, I will show you how much milk I've got in the freezer. Um, I will insert a clip now. Here you can see some of the milk. That's the top one. You see this whole drawer is full. Oh, and there is a curry <laughs> And then another whole drawer. That is a lot of milk and she is not drinking any of it yet. We'll try again. Um, also, in my friend's freezer I've got two drawers of milk, and in my mum's freezer there is half a drawer of milk. I've created so much milk, <laughs> and some of this is going to start to go off soon, because you can have it um, in your freezer, depending on the degrees of your freezer, and if you've got... Because ours is a separate freezer rather than like a fridge freezer that opens together, I don't know. Um, and, yeah, so you can keep it for six months is what the guidelines say at the time of filming this. Um, health visitor said three months, but um, I'd previously been told six months. My husband's about to come home, so um, I will probably have to stop filming. Obviously, that's an ongoing struggle that we're going through. Um, and hopefully, because she'll be starting weaning in a couple of weeks um, onto solids, um, so I'm hoping that that kind of enables her to stop breastfeeding because I would like some freedom back really um it's not so painful now um because my milk has reduced so much um she's kind of got the latch sort of thing going on however obviously she's teething she's getting teeth in i personally do not want to be breastfeeding when she's got teeth um 
because she has even now while she's sort of everything that goes in her mouth she's like chewing on she's bitten down on my nipple a couple of times and it hurts a lot um but yeah things that help me get through the first little while lots of baths um and kind of hand expressing in the bath or in the shower um i found the bath easier because the flow kind of comes out you can watch it's like a cloud in the water yeah as i said tmi um but there's a few more little bits that I've, i tried i tried to start with these nipple shield things um whilst we we're having trouble with the latching i personally did not find that these helped at all you like put them over your nipple and then instead of her going latching straight onto the nipple she lap latches onto these um i did not find them very useful they kept coming off they yeah um but you're at the stage where it's like anything any happy to try anything to help so that for me was a waste of money um try this latch assist thing actually no we didn't try it in the end i bought it i've never tried it it's still in its little rapid thing um ended up not needing that but there are out there this, so this is that um lansino a lot of the stuff i've got today is actually lansino um i don't know if you say it like that but yeah anyway um got that off amazon i think um right now again that's to know this lanolin cream the midwives and um health visitors and stuff always say about this stuff um i have found because i've also tried the boots version of the lan this is the purple one is the lanceno the white one is the boots one um this one there's not much in here you can see it's like a, a whitish sort of color and it's if it's like warmed up a little bit it's actually quite smooth this stuff this boots one oh, is hard to start with and is this rank yellowy color um my stepdad informed me that it's like a it's from sheep it's like sheep grease which is gross which makes sense of why it's that color but yeah um Oh, I dropped it, never mind. Um, I did not get along with the boots one. It hurt. Um, well, it, it irritated my skin a bit, I think. Um, and it, like, makes you a weird colour. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, now, again, I've got nursing pads. So breast pads. Um, got these Lansano ones. Um, these are my favourite. I tried the Boots ones and they again irritated my skin. Um, but one, another one of my friends like swears by them so she got that back, um, that box. I gave her those because I did not get along with them. These ones I love. Um, I'm still using them now. I also bought these bamboo um, washable ones which they're alright but again they kind of it, were a bit itchy and when I use that Boots stuff, uh, the Lanceno Boots um, when I used the Boots Lanolin cream, um, they stained these yellow and it's still kind of got a weird film on them. So obviously when you wash them, it's because it's waterproof, it doesn't come off. Um, whereas I didn't really find that with this stuff. Weird. And last but not least, these Multimam compresses. Now, a friend of mine, Erin, um, gave me some of these before I had Alana. Um, so they're called or they're multi, multi mam compresses, intensive nipple treatment for breastfeeding mothers. Now, when we were having trouble latching, um, and you know your nipple gets quite sore, these are amazing. Um, they're quite they're cold, and they're just you could put them on um, and leave them for what does it say? I'm not sure because it doesn't say on this, but it says on the box. I think it's like 10-15 minutes. But yeah, they just really helped kind of soothe the painful skin. Um, yeah, which is really helpful. Um, also, and people think this is a joke, but Savoy cabbage, if you've got mastitis, again, these help with mastitis, but um, if you've got mastitis, put a cold Savoy cabbage leaf in your bra. It really does help. Warm, warm showers, um, sort of massaging the breast, um, and yeah, 
Savoy cabbage leaves. Who knew? Um, but it really does help. <laughs> and yeah, that's sort of my journey. So I've really struggled with it to start with. I'm now kind of getting into the swing of it, but obviously I'm also ready to give it up. <laughs> um, it's been it's been a, an interesting journey. I don't say a fun journey. Um, I haven't loved every minute of it. Some others do. I've, I was ready to give up two months ago and I've had to give, continue because Alana refuses the bottle now. Um, I tried her with formula once and she did not like it at all. So yeah, hoping that she goes on the bottle soon because otherwise there's a hell of a lot of milk that will just need to be thrown away and I will cry because it's like liquid gold. So yes, I'm going to go and have some lunch now and I hope that you have found this video interesting or educational maybe I don't know I'm not like an expert at this let's say just my experience if you're breastfeeding I wish you the best of luck for your journey if you're formula feeding I still wish you the best of luck if you're expressing and feeding through the bottle that way I also wish you the best of luck because we are all amazing and however you're feeding your baby fed is best and you know what is best for you and your baby and yes, I will see you in another video hopefully soon. Love you, bye!